really super quick way to show you how to do any sort of slideshow at the beginning or any part of a presentation. This is one that I use when I open up a Zoom room. I'm there physically, but my camera's off and my mic is off. I'm usually playing music and then I want a slideshow. So these could be pictures, these could be instructions. We even talked about you could prepare folks for the content by sharing big ideas on each slide. So I use Google Slides to do this. I'm sure there's a million different ways and you could probably just Google how to do a slideshow. Uh, this is how I do it. So I just make my PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how to do different timing. I wanted this welcome slide to appear more than once. So I went ahead and copied it and put it every two or three slides, it came back to it just because I knew people would be coming in at different rates and it was an important slide that I wanted them to see so they knew they were in the right place. Um, I also tend to open a room 30 minutes before the event to let folks know that they're in the right place and then I put something in the chat that lets them know that they can step away from their computer and that what time will be beginning. I also like to be more flexible about time, so I try to remind folks that um, I'll start content or will more formally start, but that they are welcome to come and go as they need to. And just to try to keep their uh, coming and going, uh, to a minimum interruption by making sure they stay mute. Okay, so anyway, you go under File and you just say Publish to Web and then you can decide what you want to do from here. You could embed this into a, um, a website or into um, something that you're going to send out to folks, but I just use the link. And I usually find that every 10 seconds is pretty good. Sometimes if I don't have much text, I'll do five seconds. Just know that every time you kind of start this, you have to reset all of the settings so they don't hold. So you could do it really long if you wanted to. You could say every minute it changes a slide. And that might be more if you have content that you want folks to really be reading and or following some sort of directions. So I set it for 10 seconds. I say start the slideshow as soon as the player loads. I say restart it because I'm going to run this for 30 minutes. And then I just copy and paste this URL into a new browser. So what'll happen, I don't think I have that in my slideshow, but you'll see here, I'm gonna paste it into a browser and then it starts. And then remember, I told it to start immediately once this um, URL has been triggered and it won't change the slide for a few seconds here because it's really on 10 seconds. And so if you feel like that's too long, you can adjust it, reset it and recopy and paste the URL from where you went to publish, get a new URL with a new time. Uh, maybe you want to manually start it and you want it to restart. And so then I can copy and paste this, go to a new browser window, paste it again, let it reload, and you'll notice that it will um, wait for me to hit play. And then it will also move a little bit more quickly because I set it for five seconds. So hopefully that helps and shows you how to do stepping stones or some sort of uh, slideshow or welcoming way to greet folks into your conference or meeting space.